Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Uh, today I want to show you guys how to create a glass uh, vase or vase depending on where you live. Um, so let's get started. Make sure you're in your polygons menu and I'm going to start off by creating a cylinder. So I'm going to drag that out on my grid and pull that up. And I want to change some of the uh, attributes there. So my attribute editor is up. If not, hit Control A. Select the object first and then hit Control A. And I'm going to go into my Poly Cylinder tab. Now, the subdivisions, I want that nice and high. So I'm going to do 50, which will make my object nice and round. The height, I'll put that on 10. And caps, I want none. All right. Then I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Right click on my object, select face select top face and delete it. Okay, so now my basic shape is there. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my uh, four view here, go to my side view, and I'm gonna start modeling. So I'm gonna right click on the object, select vertex, and drag select the bottom row, like so. Hit the R for scaling, and I'm gonna pull that in quite a bit. Then I'm going to drag select the next two and I'm going to scale those out. I'm going to skip two rows, drag select that row, pull that out, maybe not so much, something like that. I'm going to drag select this row, pull that in to get some shape, select the top three rows, Scale that out, top two rows, scale that out, and top row, like so, something like that. All right, then I'm going to go back to my perspective view, and I'm going to select the whole thing, and I'm going to, actually the top's a little bit too much, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit. All right, I'm going to drag select the whole thing, right click object mode select it and i'm going to hit r and i'm going to scale it out a bit to make it a little bit taller go back to my side view get it back on my ground plane so i'm going to hit w to move it up like so go back to my perspective view now the whole thing looks a little bit chunky, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. So I'm going to shift right click on my object and I'm going to select smooth. And as you can see, it looks a bit better. Now we're going to set up the scene. So I need to create a ground plane. So in polygons menu, I'm going to create a uh, select a plane and I'm going to drag that out. And with the W selected, I can position it somewhat. And in my render view, I don't want to see any edges here, so I'm going to make it nice and big. So I'm going to hit R to scale it out. And I'm going to scale it out a lot because I want to look at it from a certain angle. So if I look like something like that, okay, not too bad. Okay. Now next, I need to create some lighting. So I'm going to go into Create, Lights, Point Light, hit W to pull it up, pull it out a little bit, and I want to make sure that I got sufficient light. Uh, but before I start duplicating this point light, I want to make sure that my uh, depth map shadow is on. So with the point light selected, go into the tab in your Attribute Editor, Point light shape one in this case, and make sure you got use depth map shadows selected like so. Then I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. So control D, move it over, control D again, and move it over. Okay. Okay, next step we're going to assign some materials. So I'm going to select my ground plane. I'm going to right click and go to assign new material and I'm going to search for Fong like so and I'm going to select a Fong E. 
Now, Fang is a very reflective material, so uh, I always think that looks nice. And in the tab for my Fang E material, I'm going to change the color to white. Okay. And then next, I'm going to select my object, right click, assign new material. And then I'm going to look for a mental ray material that starts with MIA. And that's called MIA underscore material underscore X. Okay, got that selected. Now I'm going to go into the attribute editor, select the material tab, and then go to presets, go down to glass solid, and click on replace. Okay. Now, before we render, uh, actually, before you render, I need to make sure that your mental ray is loaded. What do I mean by that? If we go into our render settings, like here, um, hang on, render settings, oh, there it is. Okay, um, the drop down list here, I got mental ray in this list, right? And if you do not, then you know that's not a good thing. So I'm going to select uh, Mental Ray, and in a bit I'll uh, show you how to fix that if you don't have it. Select Mental Ray. I'm going to go to my indirect lighting. Make sure that Global Illumination and Final Gathering is not selected. Then we're going to go to Quality. I'm going to go to Production Quality. And then I'm going to go to common and I'm going to select uh, a 1080. So where is it? HD 1080, like so. Okay. So we got that. Just need to quickly shut the screen down here, like so. Okay. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to hit render. Uh, based on whether or not this is going to take forever, I'm going to pause pause the video. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to be back with you guys in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the end result of our uh, rendered vase. And uh, obviously you can tweak the settings, um, you know, the lighting and all that kind of stuff. So it's all about the process. So this is what it looked like. Um, one of the things that I promised you is that I would show you how to get mental ray uh, set up if it is not. So I just need to uh, quickly uh, get this thing out of the way here. Bear with me. Like so. Okay. So if your mental ray isn't loaded, then uh, go into a window, settings, preferences, plugin manager, and for some reason that's not showing up. Oh, here it is. And then you need to make sure that Maya T O M R dot M L L is selected and loaded, and that will uh, get your uh, mental ray loaded. So hopefully uh, this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you think it is, um, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Uh, thanks again, and uh, see you next time.